Oh my goodness, guys, if you ever told 10-year-old Ando that when he was like 25 years old, he would be getting packages from the Pokemon Company International, I would have said, what the heck, dude? That sounds so far-fetched. But that's exactly what happened this morning. All right, so I'm gonna be like really careful not to give my address away, but this box right here was sent from the Pokemon Company International. Oh my goodness. And then I opened up the box right. So inside of this box right here was none other then the entire Rebel Clash set release right here. This is sent to me two weeks before it comes out on the 1st of May. I am in shock right now. I don't know what to do. Like, I can't hold the camera steady. But we've got a booster box and ETB and two theme decks. This is unreal. And don't worry at all, we're gonna get more into these, I think, in tomorrow's video. So I think what my game plan is for today is we'll crack open this booster box right here. We'll open half of it in this video right here. So 18 booster packs of the brand new Rebel Clash set. Then in tomorrow's video, so make sure you stay subscribed. We'll open up the second half of the box and I'll open up uh, these two theme decks along with it because I don't think we need a whole video on these two theme decks, but they're definitely worth checking out. And then, in the third and final video, we'll open up the ETB and hopefully finalize any pulls that we don't have. It's just like absolutely unbelievable though that this is happening. And today's episode is legit a search of the gold episode because inside of the brand new Rebel Clash set, right, this is the booster box. If you guys want to pause the video, I completely understand. But there are two gold cards that we have to go after in this set. And we have seen them in Japanese before. But Galarian Golden Perserka and Golden Shiny Frostmoth. They are both in this set. I couldn't even imagine if on our first booster box of this, we go and get it. Hopefully we can get a Rillaboom as well. That's another really nice like full art card I'm looking for. Toxtricity is a banger rainbow rare. But let's just see what we get. I feel like opening 18 packs to start with is really just going to tantalize the taste buds. And I'm just really excited, guys. Like, it's the new set that's not even out in the stores yet. Okay, so, um, let's open this up. Set up the booster box as if we're going to, like, open it up in a uh, big W or a Kmart or something. Look at that. Unreal! Is everyone ready? Let's see. There's always a big moment. What the first booster pack is going to contain. I'll open up the left-hand side today, and then make sure you subscribe for the right-hand side tomorrow. It's gonna go off. Now, let's see if the codes are- Oh, no way! I think I got something on the first pack! Oh, my gosh! Four! Four! Oh, my gosh! Darkness type? Far links! Oh, my gosh! These are all new- I haven't looked at the set list besides the ultra rares. So, all of these commons and uncommons? No idea. Nose pass. We got a wing goal. We got a phantom. Bronzor, no way, Toxel common card, then a Masquerain reverse, and then, oh my goodness, on the first flipping booster I open is none other than a Rillaboom Rainbow Rare. Oh, this is the best booster box ever. Rebel Clash is going to be my set, I already know. I'm matching with the like color scheme of the set. Oh, what? <laughs> What? No way! On the first booster pack! You're kidding me! Max beating and scratch? Time to put the rest of the box in the museum, boys. We don't even need to open it. Oh! This came straight from the Pokemon Company's, like, good pull factory. I know it. That's it. I've opened one booster. Hopefully I'm allowed to give the codes away, by the way. Like, I don't know if you can cash them in or not, but I'm doing it. Enjoy the code cards. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What the flip? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. I just bought a Rainbow Rare VMAX Rillaboom full art. You don't, you don't understand. People are doing search for that card. Like, people really want it. Rillaboom's like already a fan favorite. Unlisted Leaf on the second one. Okay, Ando, calm down. Skylar. Wow. You know, Boss's Order, that Giovanni... There we go. Um, that Giovanni Fuller card's in this set as well. So, you already know. If you pull Giovanni Fuller, worth a lot of money. Hopefully... No! Oh my gosh! It's the... It's the regular VMAX! Is it rigged? Is it actually rigged? Get out of here! Scratch and Max beating again! Look at this! That is unbelievable! 
Oh, you have not demolished the like button and you are not excited for Rebel Clash right now. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, I'm shaking. This is unbelievable. Rillaboom VMAX and a Rainbow Rare. Rillaboom, the exact same card. That doesn't happen, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't know if I can... I'm not going to put prices on the screen or anything because I have no idea what they are. It's before it's released. We're just going to enjoy the cards for what they are. Rillaboom VMAX Full Art. Guys, guys, guys. Would I be allowed to open this set every day for the next couple of weeks? Because I think that's what I want to do right now. I think if Ando can, I'm going to upload an unboxing every day. Four from the back. What has happened? Everyone's starting the left-hand side. That's what I'm kind of hinting. <laughs> oh, train to dance back, everybody! Get around it. Sandy Ghast, got a Stunky, Clefairy... We've got a Voltorb, Stuffle, and a Dancing Ludicolo. Okay, we're back to Rillab... <sighs> Rillaboom is on the Packer as well. So, we've got a VMAX Rillaboom. We've got a Rainbow Rare Rillaboom. Do you reckon we can get a Gold card now? Do you think it's still within the chances or not really? I'm very curious what you guys reckon. And predicting a ratio for a box is going to be Galarian Yanmask, then an... <gasps> Appleton. Appleton, I think, is in this set. Magma and a Zacian. That's the, um, it's like the non holo form of what's in the theme deck. But as I said, we'll open the theme decks in tomorrow's video to give us something else to open. Um, but that looks like a non holo form of it. Alright, Toxtricity this time. I know that's probably a card that you guys really want to see as well as Toxtricity. I mean, there's Dragapult in the set too. But I think for me. Oh, is it Sonya? I think Sonya Full Art is a card that a lot of people want to see as well. So maybe we'll go after a couple of Trainer Full Arts. Um, seeing as they're like a lot of money ones. Coughing. This is awesome. Impidimp. Got a uh, Shinx right there. Then good old Galarian Dumbmanitan. Literally one of his attacks is 170 with Crushing Headbutt. That is insane. Like, a hundred and... It's more than his HP. Let's keep going. Inteleon's in this thing too. Wow, this is actually an awesome set. Think about it. Two golden cards to go over, go after, not just one. And the rates to get... Why did I put Galarian no, I Tan at the back? What am I doing? I think I was just blown away by the attack. And Zacian. Jeez, I know you're a legendary, but not. Nah, you know what? I'm going to stop doing that. All right, Psychic type. I'm getting too excited. Sonya, Masquerade. Is this how you guys are at the first set, or am I just weird? Voltorb, Sandy Gas, Volpix. Got a double aid reverse, and then, not too bad, Hatterene right there is a holo card. I remember getting a lot of these in Japanese too, it's like sort of flooding back to me now. Do you guys remember this set in like a Japanese opening? It's over like maybe two or three sets, but nevertheless, I do remember this stuff. Oh, dude. And the thing is, right, with everything happening around the world right now, you can't go to a pre-release event. So usually the Pokemon company will hold pre-release events. So a week or two weeks before, you can go get a couple of boosters versus some people try out the set. Unfortunately, that's not happening at the moment just due to people staying inside. So I think Pokemon company was like, Ando, do you want to give the world your own pre-release? Which is this right here. Unboxing the cards, getting people to see what they think of them in the comment section. So definitely leave a comment, let me know what you think of the brand new set. We're gonna reverse, and then none other than good old Cooper Raja V card. You've gotta get everything. On the first go round, guys, this is my attempt to complete the set. So I need every card. Doesn't matter what it is, if we haven't got it, it's a win. Cooper Raja V as well, he's the mascot of the set. He's on the ETB. That is epic. Look at that, 180. Some of these attacks are devastating. Cooper Raja V though, great start. What a, what a crazy ass half of the box right here. Like I'm thinking, amazing start. Sometimes you don't even get that on an entire half. But we've done it. Oh gosh, and we still got another a whole half to go. Jeez, I'm loving the ratios. I think they've done well with the set. How big is it by the way? Got a water type right there. Whoa! 192! Call my Aunt Jemima Appleton, because that's a lot. Snova, discovered uh, good old snake's footprints right there. From Metal Gear, sneaking around. And then, none other than a holo Lux Array. So getting a couple more holos than usual. I mean, holo cards aren't something we see as much in the Sword and Shield era, but I'll get around it. 
I'll definitely take more white and green codes over like solid green codes any day of the week. And once you can cash the codes in, I'm curious, what are you getting in them? Are they good pulls? Galar Mine right there. Got a Helioptile, Hone Edge, Litwick, Corsola. Look at that. That's a nice card. I like that. And then none other than a Trevenant. Regular rare. All right, so we're going to reel a boom right now. I think it's probably a bit too much to ask for something else. I think we've peaked. Like, dude, on the first couple of boosters, we've already peaked out. But what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can get something else. Good at well, Look at that. We're literally getting, like, checking off every single evolution, pre-evolution. Vulpix. And the Galarian Farfetch. Looking grumpy as anything. That's funny. Then we've got none other... Then our double up of the regular rare. That's fine. Toxtricity. I'm curious how many V Maxes are going to be in one box, and how many time or how many boosters it's going to take me to like completely collect all the Vs and V Maxes. Hmm. Darkness type. Training core. I remember that from the video game. Lampert. Then a Meta Charm. Then a Grobin. Electabuzz. Loving the artwork of this set too. Hone Edge. Yan Mask. Even if we don't get Giovanni as a full art, it's a card that I want. I think it comes in a, either a regular or a holo form. I, w I wouldn't mind at all in that because I know it's really tough to try and pull that. There's a code. So any type of Giovanni is another one I'm going for. And Sonya, always after that too. We're going to unlist the Leaf Energy. Heracross. Hopefully that means something, guys. Scyther. Nose Boss, Snova, found the footprints, and then none other than a Malamar V. As if I had no idea Malamar was in this set. Get out of here. Brain Shake is one of the attacks. Whoa, I did not know. I did not think like Malamar would be in here. I suppose they're just chucking all the Vs that have been in the previous Japanese sets all in here. Drag off as well. We are getting some decent hits right now. It's actually a fair few. Cinderace. We probably should go for a couple of starters too. Got to give out, got to use Score Bunny, you know, Grookey. Got to give all the starters some love. All right, Sobble as well. Electrode, beware. Then we've got Stuffle as well. Lotad, Growlithe going for a trot. Caterpie Reverse and Unpheasant. Regular rare. Nice complete hand drawn artwork. This is the, oh, there we go, fifth to last booster, and then that's it. It is a Rillaboom, which is now my good luck Pokemon. So let's open you up, put you to the side. It's another solid green, though. So it looks like the colored codes are back. That's okay, though. We'll keep going. Just remember not to look at the codes when you open up your booster. So you get Heliolisk, Corsola, Toxel as well. I do like that card. Mr. Mime, got a Snova, Pit of. Sigilith, and then double up of the Sigilith. Hashtag Illuminati confirmed. Fourth to last booster. We're in our final, like, lot of four. The artworks, and it's a flipping white and green. No way. I know I shouldn't have looked at that color code, but I did. We're going to fire type. We're going to more Pico. Super scoop up. Then we've got Heracross. Far-fetched. <sighs> Mr. Mime. What do you think it's going to be, guys? Impidimp. And then a Chandelure Holo. I am loving it. Let's keep going. Third to last booster. Let's kick it off. Intelli on time. He's, he just looks epic. All of these Pokemon on the front of these boosters, they look so cool. I love the new, like, goldy text that they've got for Rebellious Clash. You're going to see the ETB. It's actually designed really well. Luxio. It's so exciting having a brand new English set, you know. Sword and Shield. Time pole. And then... Wow, okay, okay, we're gonna, so don't panic at the regular rare, second to last booster of today's epic opening. It's gonna be Cinderace right there, and look at that, it's the golf ball, everyone's, fa whoa, that's kind of textured low key. Four from the back, you gotta provide the goods, come on, search of the gold complete on the first booster box, Un it'd, be, it'd be unreal, heat more. Come on, Bunnelby, Volpix, Phantom, Burning Scarf, and then Toxtricity V, regular. I will take that. That's what I really want. Toxtricity is such a cool Pokemon. Wow, that's awesome. All right. Toxtricity V in the bag. And our final Rebel Clash early booster right here. It's Rillaboom. And then we've got that whole side to open up tomorrow. Look at all that. 
And we'll open up the theme decks too. I just thought it'd be cool to have like a big giant trio opening, you know, a three-parter. It's gonna go off. And then of course, like, closer to the set when it comes out, we're gonna have like way more of this stuff. We're gonna have booster boxes on booster boxes. And I'll try my best to get both the gold cards and complete the whole set for you guys. Just like I did with Sword and Shield. I was so lucky, I bought so many booster boxes, but we got Zacian and Zamazenta. On the, uh, very early on, I think, in that Sword and Shield set. But there you go, that's the first part of Rebel Clash. I'm gonna jump straight in, hopefully record part number two, and we're gonna get those two gold cards. But before we do that, let's actually, let's have a recap. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a recap right now of what is literally just half of a Rebel Clash booster box? Unbelievable. I'll keep these uh, cards to the side and we'll do a recap tomorrow with all of the whole booster box. So you get a good idea of ratio. But for now, we've got... How many holy cards did we get? Let's count them out. One. We got two. Three with the chandelier. That's it. Not too bad. It felt like a bit more, didn't it? Three holy cards. Then these V cards. Unreal. I love it. They're new. They're fresh. Kuparaja V. Then that Malamar V as well. Toxtricity V. He gets a chef's kiss. It's awesome. And then I can't believe this, guys. Unreal. But we get Rillaboom VMAX with the full art texture and everything. Absolutely gorgeous. And the first booster, we pulled Rainbow Rare Rillaboom VMAX card. I'm shocked. I'm stunned. I can't believe this. Have a fantastic day. If you're not subscribed, I've got openings coming up for the next weeks with this uh, Rebel Clash stuff coming up. And yeah, it'd mean the absolute world. We're trying to get 2 million subscribers. Please demolish a like button if you're excited for the set. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions of it in the comment section. But most of all, gotta keep on gaming. I'll see you tomorrow, guys.